Hello, my name is Mayan Chow with RVMax.us and today we have this 2004 Fleetwood Bounder model 35R. It's in pretty good shape. Stripes are not faded, cracked. They look really good. Straight walls, no delamination. You've got good 2014 Dunlop tires. Now this coach has the 8.1 liter Vortec V8 motor. It's on the workhorse chassis. Now that V8 produces a lot of low end torque, which is really nice when you're trying to climb mountains and get good gas mileage. It has two slides. And the good thing about these, this coach is it has compartments that come out with the slides. Um, you don't have to go under your coach and bang your head when the slides are closed because your compartments go out with it. Now honestly, it sacrifices a little bit of space compared to a pass-through storage, but a lot of gas coaches don't have pass-through anyway and I would much rather have this than what a standard gas coach has. Heck, even some lower end diesels don't have pass through. And this is nice, you don't have to go under there when you're camping, realistically, when are you gonna have the slides in? Um, so you can easily access all your stuff and uh, you, know, you don't have to bang your head, which I've done plenty of times, trust me, and it's not fun. Take a look at that bounder. T generally speaking, when you see a coach that has good decals like this, a lot of times the bounder and those, uh, the name of the coach, it fades first. And even that looks really good. It makes me think that either A, this thing was extremely well taken care of, and it kind of looks like it. I mean, look, you've got still got shine on the bottom compartments. The, uh, the decals look brand new. Um, and it also could have brand new decals or recently put on decals because they're immaculate. There's no cracks. There's no beginnings of cracks. They're not faded whatsoever. Um, the decals look excellent. Now you've got an outside porch light here, so if you're hooking up at night, um, it provides light. Super nice feature. This is your wet bay here. You've got city water hookup, bypass valves, phone, TV input. You've got a little storage compartment in here. Nice thing about these uh, storage compartments is they're made out of a plastic, which means they don't rust, which most a lot of coaches rust. Um, and they're easy to clean. Now this coach has an Onan 5500 watt gas generator. Plenty of power. One other thing, it has two roof air conditioners, which is interesting. Generally, a lot of these coaches um, only have one, but this has two. Super nice, um, especially in the summer. It cools it really fast. Look at this, straight walls. Good decals, no fading. Looks great from the exterior of this thing. And the interior, um, you're gonna love. We just put new floors in it and it really makes this coach stand out. You've got some little areas here where the clear coat's kind of fading. And there are a few other areas on the top of the coach, on the front, um, where the clear coat's fading a little bit. It is a 14-year-old coach, um, but overall for a 14-year-old coach, it hides its age very well. I don't have the keys with me. This is a spare tire in here. Now this coach has a good tow hitch and it's got a 5,000 pound towing capacity. All right, we're gonna jump up on the roof here. All right, we're up on the roof now and you can see it's in great shape. Um, the seal, it's a TPO roof. The seal looks great. Caulking mostly looks very good. There are a couple areas where I'm gonna go in and reseal. Uh, but the main roof is firm, good seal, and this is a good sign here. You see this? This is where maybe trees hit or something, and the previous owner got up here and sealed it. And the roof is in great shape. You got a little solar panel there. Shrouds look excellent. You got a satellite there, standard TV antenna. Front main seal looks good. A lot of caulking. That's good to see. Look at this. He even caulked those, uh, those little amber lights on the top of it. Those are generally the first things that go. Very good to see that kind of, uh, that kind of care. Slide out toppers look pretty good. Over here it's been repaired with some slide out topper repair tape, but the condition overall of that topper is in excellent shape. Oh look, there's a little frog. Oh, <laughs> I think he wants to buy the RV. Show me the money and I'll give you the, oh, give you the title. While we're taking a look here, look, he's even sealed little cracks here. Oh, he jumped. Sorry, I'm way distracted with this turtle. 
or not turtle, frog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, back on track. Shrouds look good. You've got Max Air vents. These are really nice things. One there, one over the bathroom. It's very nice to have because you can open your vents and uh, vent out the air when it's raining and when you're running down the road and there's a lot of wind. Super nice to have. And if you ever forget that they're up, which happens all the time, um, that's one of the reasons they are a prime leak area. Um, you, no worries because you're covered. Super nice to have. Rear slide out topper looks pretty good. And you can tell that the rear slide is pretty deep too. A lot of times um, companies will skimp on the depth of a slide out in the bedroom. And this one has a deep one. Rear main seal looks excellent. Again, firm, very good TPO roof. Um, you have a satellite dish, two roof air conditionings, the shrouds are in good shape, you've got max air covers. Um, overall, very good looking roof. All right, now that we're back down on the coach, um, let's take a look at some of these side compartments on the passenger side. They've got a water hose and a filter system over there on the left, plenty of storage. Minor little scrape there. That can be polished off probably, that looks like some color. More storage there. More storage there. There are some accessories in that bag. Take a look at this. The decals look great on this thing. I mean, it looks like a, I mean, it looks like a primo condition decal. I can't get over those decals. I'm sorry if I talk about them way too much. You just don't see these kind of condition decals in the industry on this kind of older coach. You have some valve systems there. Those will cut off um, for when you winterize the coach. Oh, that's pretty nice. So you've got hookups, cable, power. Um, so if you wanted to plug up a TV out here, and both these compartments have little holes um, where you can run cables out and shut your compartment. Super nice. This is where your propane tank is. Propane tank is in excellent shape. It looks pretty fair, fairly new. More storage up top as well. Take a step inside here. You do have a screen door and it has a double step. Now before we take a step inside, take a look at this wood here. Now we didn't cheap out. We went and had our guys finish the uh, step with wood, which is expensive to do, but our guys have gotten very good at doing it. You can see it looks, it, they, they do a very professional, excellent job. We even put a new couch, new seats, new uh, booth dinette um, seats there, new carpet there, new carpet on the doghouse and in the front part, all new floors. I mean, this thing looks great here. It's got a dark cherry wood. The previous owner really did a nice upgrade here. These are like household type uh, blinds. They're wood, they match the wood. Every time, you know, someone asks me, what kind of blinds should I put in here after, you know, if they want to replace them? These are the kinds to do. Household, they look really nice, they're easy to use. This turns into a bed here. You got Corian countertops. You do not see that very often at all in gas coaches. Three burner gas stove. Oven in here. Now here you've got these big drawers that slide out. However, this does have the option, you can put a washer dryer combo in here. It has the hookups. You have the hot water, cold water, and the drain back in there. I have a picture of it online. This is all Corian as well. Let's take a look up here. We've got these LED, or these are like, uh, not LED, I don't know what kind of lights these are. They go all around up in here. It's a cool little accessory. It makes the coach look really nice. Panasonic TV, you got your co-pilot and pilot seats, they swivel of course, color, or not a color, you got a standard backup camera, CB radio, this coach only has 37,805 miles, and get this, only 51 hours on the generator. Like I said, automatic leveling jacks, it's got a lot of nice features on this coach. Get a little cutting board here, this is pretty nice. Let's take a step back here. Now this has a household refrigerator, another really nice upgrade. 
there's much more space in here. It's a lot deeper and they get colder faster and it's all around a nice upgrade to have that. Step back here, this is the bedroom slash bathroom area. Now this bathroom is separatable from the, um, the bathroom and bedroom is separatable from the living room and the bedroom is separatable from the bathroom and living room area. This is your controls right there for your air conditioning and uh, your uh, furnace as well. Plenty of space in the bathroom, check this out. This is really nice. Uh, people can be using this bathroom um, and not affect anyone else in the coach. It's separate, separated from the rest of the RV. You got a big shower. Really nice shower. That's very wide, very tall. Automatically locks. Now in the bedroom area, it's a walk around bed, really nice. And it's not very skinny over here. They don't cut your room. You've got plenty of space, which is super nice. You got a TV there, desk. Check out this wardrobe area. Massive wardrobe area. And we have one more wardrobe space I'd like to take a look at as well. Big bedroom back here. And right there where you see those mirrors, that's where your bed, your other wardrobe space is. So it's got two huge wardrobes. This is the larger of the two. Automatic lights come on as soon as you open the door. So you don't have to turn any main lights on to access and see what you're getting out. Beautiful coach. Now here's your separatable doors. They just slide back over here. Really nice, plenty of space in this area. I really like the bedroom bathroom setup in this coach. Let me take a look at this. With the new floors, the new carpet, new couch, new dinette table seats, Corian countertops, dual stainless sink. This is a gorgeous coach. Um, we're gonna get on the road and test drive this thing. It drives very well, a lot of low end torque. Um, you've got a good overdrive gear. Um, but like I said, here are the selling points of this RV. Excellent decals, the decals are in great shape. The roof looks very good, um, no soft spots, well taken care of. You have the 8.1 Vortec, automatic leveling jacks, two, two slide outs, um, not to mention all the flooring and all the upgrades that we've done, um, including the household refrigerator. We didn't do that, but that is a nice upgrade to have. Anyways, if you need any more information um, or would like to come schedule an appointment and take a look at this coach, please call or text me at 864-376-5600. Thank you and have a great day.